What's going on, guys? I'm having a great year so far for auctions, man. Check this out the Powermatic 3520, about $5,700 retail price. It stocks over here. I got this thing for $225. Oh, I'm excited. So the reason most likely is because the stud here was broken. Um, let's see. New one was 40 bucks. So I decided to buy that rather than figure out how to weld and keep it in place. My welds sometimes aren't that great. And then I would have to grind out anything that was inside that center if any of the weld penetrated through. And I was like, you know, it'll be just worth the 40 bucks to order it. So I went ahead and ordered that. And I'll have it back together and have a, a really nice lathe. So this is the Emmert Pattern Maker Vice. I got this the week before I bought the lathe. It's about an $800 uh, vice that I picked up for $25. Nobody knew what it was at that auction. It was clamped to a bench. And normally people go crazy for bench vices, at least 50 bucks or so, maybe 100 And I got it. It's exciting. Can't wait to get my bench built and mount that to it. So... Pretty good stuff. Um, not a whole lot else going on right now. Um, trying to get through some stuff. And then I wanna get working on the cabinets again. Get this one cabinet finished. Need to organize uh, some stuff in here. Oh, I did get a new uh, jointer kind of paid a lot for it uh, more than I wanted to but I knew an Amish guys down south they'd be they'd be willing to give me the uh, up around 1200 bucks for it so I paid 700 for this but it's got the bird head on it it's got some broken knives so I have to replace that the guard is in the truck but got sold my other one uh for 800 to cover using this so Basically, I upgraded jointers and got a, a better cutter head. So I'm gonna order the knives, new knives for, I think these are all dull. They've been turned the maximum number of times from what I can tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That'll help with my woodworking because my jointer just, I didn't like the other one. Just didn't seem to do that good of a job. Um, it was okay. But this, it should, it should be better. So, um, I want to, I want to try and also build some uh, mobile bases for my tools. And then I've got the the one that I tr I cut up over here. This one here. I want to get that cut back down to size for the Unisaw. I tried to make it work with the saw stop and after welding it a couple times and failing <laughs> on the size, cause I, I just didn't make it large enough. It was just like an eighth of an inch or so too small. I should just cut it back, but at the time I was just frustrated. So, but I may, uh, I think I'm gonna sell this to help pay for getting the house repaired so I can move um, I'm gonna have to go through clean it up see what's going on like this thing doesn't want to work so it, it pushed out but it's not going back in so maybe it was too far but just something I gotta mess with so that's that's uh, what I've been doing, hitting the auctions, and there's not a whole lot coming up right now. Um, actually, there was a really good deal out in Missouri, no, St. Louis, yeah, Missouri. Um, there was an auction yesterday. I was watching it because there was a 24-inch 
Powermatic planer, like I've got the 24 inch Rockwell here, same size, uh, but it had the bird head on it, so it was upgraded. And that head alone is $3,600. And I was watching it, and that, that planer sold for $1,700, I think a little over $1,700. So they paid half price for a custom made bird head, because those are basically made to order, um, or made when ordered. I don't. I don't know the difference between some of that. So you order it and they make it. They don't They don't keep them in stock, which is kind of why the price is so high. $3,600. And they got that whole thing for $1,700. Couldn't believe it. For me to get the fuel, like to pick it up and stuff, it would have cost another uh, $450 to $500 at 10 miles a gallon. So that would have been a 2000 no, seven. 12 or 2200 $2,300 total. A little bit, a little bit high. Like if I was wanting to buy and sell machinery for a living, I could have probably, if I had a warehouse, could have probably sat on it for a while and sold it for four to six grand. So somebody got a good deal. Um, if you're wanting a 24 inch planer, there's another one coming up in Tennessee. So. Uh, those are real nice machines. So just check all the auction sites, guys. Uh, that's about it. So I'm not doing much. Just trying to get back to my life, guys. Um, I have been a little... Some of the, the depression has been hitting me here. Uh, but not as bad as it was. Still trying to shut it off and, and not worry about it. So... And then one of the major stress factors was the lawsuit with the code enforcement. So they're, uh, luckily in court, they were only asking for like 400 bucks in fines plus court costs compared to the $8,000 they were asking for. So that's a little bit of a relief. Still, it's kind of ridiculous that they were harassing the hell out of me for six, seven years and not enforcing any any other code in the area. Um, but I went through the computer this week and I actually filed complaints. What was it like? Probably around 400 uh, violation complaints. Uh, and it took almost the entire day yesterday and a little bit of the time Monday. Um, whole list, I've got eight pages, like seven or eight pages typed up. Uh, that I mean it pissed me off so I'm thinking on the cinema invoice but double sided eight eight pages here worth of addresses and it's basically the entire this huge inner intersect in, uh, neighborhood um, from like 16th street to 10th street from Tibbs over to the railroad it's like I'm done with these guys man so over here is one of the issues was the gravel and you don't have a border. Like you have to have a border retaining gravel. And these two drives, they don't have it. And I had it majorly done except for like 16% if you do the math and calculate it down. So I was, I mean, it's just frustrating. Like in this tree here, that one there is all rotten and dead and it's close to the road and they never said anything about it until this court and I filed all these complaints, uh, like my counterclaim. And I had what, like 1200 photos of violations in this neighborhood that I sent out and uh, with the lawsuit. So I think because of that, they, they actually started, they started doing stuff because they're like, hey guys, you can't, can't just be harassing this one guy. Um, so they've actually finally started to go through after six years and uh, putting violations on everyone else. I mean, it's frustrating. Hate government, guys. Really hate them. Uh, so I need to get out, get this house done, get this house sold. Move out to the country. I want a bigger shop. 
So what can I do today? I mean, it's been 10 minutes. You guys aren't gonna watch this. So I don't know what, what else I gotta figure out to do today. But I'll figure it out. You guys have fun and uh, don't forget to troll me in the comment sections.